I've got Tucker out and he's come in for our two weekend house training. So we always like to kind of start off with day one and see where, what all he knows and everything. And um, so far he's a big jumper and he's got very sharp nails. So I'm probably gonna do his nails here in a minute to see if I can't prevent myself from getting all torn up. He's kind of thinking about the treats, but he doesn't really know at this point, you know. Hey, hey, oh goodness, oh my goodness. All right. I heard you talking this morning too. Not sure you're all shepherd with that. Shepherds can be very vocal, so that doesn't surprise me. But he sounds kind of like he howls a little bit, so and that's typically a husky trait. All right, hey. Hey. So he does really want to get this pulling and tugging and walking out front under control. Tucker, ah, uh, Tucker, sit. Good, no, sit. Good. The jumping, I'm gonna start with the sits and the no and off so we can get that under control. Looks like he does kind of know how to sit, so that's a plus. Tucker, Tucker, I know. But we gotta get over the little barking thing so you can hear what I'm asking you to do, huh? <laughs> He's going to be a lot of fun. I don't see any big major problems, you know. Um, at least he is leash broke. He does want to go for a walk on a leash, so that'll help. Um, now we just got to get the control in there and start getting the consistency so that he'll do everything automatically um, without having to be told. Or once he is told, he does understand what the command means. So at this point, we're going to put him up and get him back out at the end of week one and see how he's doing then. I've got Tucker out and he's been here for a week so I wanted to put a little bit on tape show you where he's at. Um, he's a talker. He tends to want to put me in my place. Um, you know, I think it's just um, kind of a little bit of a shepherd thing. I, I get this in class a lot. Not often one-on-one, -on -one, but I do get it in class a lot. Um, so it, it, you know, he kind of surprises me sometimes. Um, he's really picked up things quickly. So that's a, that's a plus. Um, the, the jumping has gone down considerably. But I have to remember to do no and off and not let him get just terribly close. Even standing here, I kind of did a little sidestep trying to make sure that I had a little distance between us so I have some time to react. Um, but so far, so good. I think he's making some progress. So we're going to show you where he's at at week one. Tucker. Let's go. Start with walking out some of this energy. Good. Sits are becoming pretty automatic. Tucker, sit. I say automatic and then we don't sit at all. Hey, Tucker, good. Let's go. You're not paying attention is what it is. What's that? Huh? Nope, leave it. Good. No sniffing on the ground. One him paying attention, no pulling. Sit. Stay. No, sit. I mess with my treats a lot because he looks for food. He's really food mode. No, and I'm not using it as a bribe but I want him to know that I have him and he will get rewarded when he does it right. So he has to wait for that release, okay? And then he's really snappy and I'm trying to teach him to catch. Get it. Good boy, and that was a, that was a catch, you got it. Um, but because I think that trying to hand him treats is gonna become problematic. I've done some easy work with him and it's working a little bit, but not as well as I'd like for it to. Good boy. Hey, Tucker, sit. Good. Every time we stop, I'm reaching down and petting him so I don't get that jumping behavior, you know, so he's learning to keep his feet on the ground even when he's getting praised or getting loved on because he was a big jumper and he's just too big to be flying up at you. Huh. Still bumping a little bit and I'm working on that. Come on. Good, sit, stay.
Okay. Sit. Good. Good boy. Okay. Did you get it? All right. Sit. Let's go. Come on. Good boy. Get it. Ouch. Tucker, come. Sit. Get it. Tucker, come. Sit. Good. Notice I'm not letting him get in too far, too close. Sit. On the come, because again, that goes back to that jumping issue. Get it? Tucker, come. Sit. Good. Ready? Get it. Tucker, come. Nope, not the rock. Sit. Good. Sit. Good. I like that he can catch. I just want him to stay sitting when he does it. Did you get it? You missed it. It's right here. Right there. Good boy. Tucker, come. Come. Sit. Good. <laughs> I feel like he's always on springs. The first few days it was tough because it, you know, fig figuring out that he had to put all four on the floor. It was, it was, it was a co rough couple of days with him and me because he really liked to climb up you. And, and once he got up there, he had a little more power than you did to get him off. And it was a little tough. Quit. Come on. Sit. Leave it. Hey, pay attention to me. Come on. I lost him. I don't know what he's looking at, but something over there has caught his attention. Tucker, sit. There's nothing out there, dude. Ha. Me? <laughs> I am not as interesting as whatever's on that side of the fence. Um, you know, but he's young and, and that's going to happen. So hopefully um, we can work through that. But we've got another week to go. We're going to put him up and we'll get him back out at the end of week two and see how he's doing then.